A lot goes into tracking your producers. And as you have seen before, I have said this many times, I love this statement, it's metrics don't have feelings. For many commercial producers, they love selling you on what they have as potential or selling you, and, and I call it, even when you go in their office, I call it peacocking. They have all their quotes out on their desk and some of them are three years old. A lot of times with commercial producers, we're really passionate about getting tracking up. I know the instinct, let's get the good old fashioned Excel spreadsheet out. That Excel spreadsheet has never been right. We need to lean on systems, insider management system, or look at outside sales CRM tools. The investment that you have will pay itself back by your intake of productivity and your ability to transparently see your sales team. So if it's something that you've put off, I understand, but now is the time. In addition to that, there's some other big, big benefits that you're going to have. So if you're looking at tracking your producers and say you want to hire a new producer in, there should be a database of prospects that maybe aren't getting work that you can transfer to them. That's huge. That's a great way to get a new producer to be profitable for you quicker. You can also see follow up and manage that from a very strategic process. The other reason that we want to make sure we're not using the side hustle spreadsheet is, is that that information rarely gets into the system correctly. It's not tracking closing ratios accurately. And ultimately, it's another thing for a producer to keep up. And you might be saying, well, Kelly, if we have them in the management system or if we have them in a sales CRM tool, they also have to keep up with it. The answer is yes, but it is a new way that we have to be working. Ultimately, so many of the sales CRM tools make the producer's life easier. There's email templates, there's reminders. So that initial phase of getting everything up, that first 10 weeks, the freaking first times, the resistance will definitely happen and then it will subside. You have to outlast the suck to get to the better part. But it's silly to think that in 2022 that we do not need to be investing in ways to track our producers. They're big investments. They're the way that you need to grow. And we can't lean on verbal communication because producers are salespeople. They will sell you on that way. Also, for many sales managers, they're running around in a million different directions. They need to be able to pull that data up at eight o'clock at night and see what's going on. If your agency has struggled with sales tracking, we understand. Our Apex commercial course actually has ways in AMS 360, Hawksoft, and Applied Epic on how to track your production team. We also recommend some other CRM tools if those aren't your systems that might be helpful and valuable. But the bottom line is this. Once you know these numbers that you have for your sales team, your next step is going to be training them and getting them to change up these skills. It might be that you need more leads. It might be that you need to close better. It might be that you're not selling big enough policies. All of the tracking gives us transparency so you can pinpoint training to make your producer team successful, which makes your agency successful and the whole world comes around. So you should definitely check out our Apex sales commercial course. We have it both in our online school, so you could do it yourself. We have virtual options and in person. So what are you waiting for? Get your tracking going. Let us help you get that set up. That's part of the program. And then we'll be able to pinpoint and help each producer become more successful.